by West Fear. My name is Daisy Savage and I'm here today with Mamoru Iwaguchi whose show is called Project Conjecture. Can you tell us a little bit about your show? Yes, um, it's a performance duo mm -hmm. and there are two characters. One is called Projector, mm -hmm. uh, who's got, uh, it's a girl who's got a projector attached to her head, like yeah. it's mine. And my name, also my, the character I'm playing is called Conjecture, uh -huh. uh, which has got a TV on the head. And uh, it's um, uh, kind of is, it, it's inspired inspired by like Star Wars in Swan Lake. It's it's a dance piece, theatre piece, and sort of odd love story basically. And why are you inspired by Swan Lake and Star Wars? Um, I wanted to make a dance piece partly because then I thought I wouldn't have to speak. Okay. Um, and then when I thought about dance. The best dance, or sort of best known dance, I, I, I knew was Swan Lake, so yeah. I said, let's do that. And then I wanted my sort of partner to be interested in something kind of opposite end of the spectrum, which was kind of, I thought, it may be sci fi. So um, she's projector is into sci fi, particularly Star Wars. So that is a contrast that I wanted to make. And why did you put together dance and multimedia? Um, the biggest mystery of dance for me, I love dance, but I thought sometimes I don't understand what sort of motivates the dancers to move around, to do kind of all the sort of elaborate um, movement. So I just wanted to make a piece. I'm not a dancer anyway, so I wanted to make a piece where the motivation is very clear what's moving body. So we, both of us, are moving around on stage to move the images. So, she, for example, projector is projection on rocket and the sky. Yeah. And then, so to, to let it fly, she has to kind of move in a specific way. Okay. And then, so we, I'm doing the same, and so we are asking, so why, is it dance that we're doing? I think it's created a really interesting movement. And yes, then we're questioning that sort of, are we dancing? Yeah. And so, what different images do you get? On your head. Do you know what image is above you now? Yes, we are operating with, uh, I don't know where it's gone, so this little uh, wired remote. So we are sort of controlling images as well as sound and lighting. So we're yeah. doing all of it. So we are actually In charge of everything? It. Yes. Yes, that's great. And you obviously, you swap gender roles throughout, is mm. that correct? Why do you do that? Why is that important to the piece? I think what the, the beauty of theatre is that you can be whatever you want and together with the audience we can actually live in that world and I sort of wanted to take that farther so that so even gender is swappable so we started, well obviously when the show started we are not in this costume yet and I'm a boy and my partner is a girl but immediately after that we swapped the gender and it's a, and then I think that is interesting to play with that sort of the, the, the kind of notion of character mm. and at that level. It's, it's quite childlike <laughs> but playful. Is it quite challenging as well? Um, I think it's more fun. More fun. It's, I think it's because I, I work as a costume designer and whenever male actors got a role to dress up, mm -hmm. I know I've never seen anybody who's not, you know, who's not excited about it. Yeah. So I think there's always excitement to play with the opposite <laughs> sex. Mm. Cool. Well, thank you very much for talking to us. Thank you. And if you'd like to see the show, it's at 9.30pm at Summer Hall. Thank you.